You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. The Little Bird. Caillou and Sarah were having a picnic in Caillou's backyard. Look, Sarah, ants. Why are they coming on the blanket? They want cookie crumbs. <gasps> a bird! Sarah, look! It's not moving. Caillou and Sarah watch the bird. What's wrong? Maybe it hurt its wing or something. I'll go tell your mom. You stay here and make sure it's safe. Is the bird hurt, Mommy? A cat might get it if we leave it here. Oh, you did the right thing to come and get me. We should never touch an animal when it's hurt. We can use this box and slide it in so it'll be safe. There. Here's some grass and leaves. It'll feel like it's in his nest. Here's some water in case it needs a drink. The bird can eat this if it gets hungry. You could place it in the box next to the bird. Caillou hoped the bird would get better soon. I have to go, Caillou. I'll come back later to check on the bird. Bye. The bird didn't eat the bread yet, Mommy. Give it a chance to get better, sweetie. Caillou was startled and excited to hear the bird chirp. He wondered if the bird felt better. Mommy, did you hear that? Are you hungry, little bird? Here, why don't you hold the bread a little closer to the bird? <laughs> to leave the bird alone. I'll put Gilbert in the house so the bird will be safe, and you better come in for lunch. Don't worry about Gilbert. I'll protect you again if he comes back. If the bird isn't better by tonight, we should bring it to a bird sanctuary. They have a special hospital to take care of it. Can we go visit it when it's there? We sure can. Gilbert was inside the whole time. You. Caillou, look. There it is. We have to be very quiet and go slowly so we don't scare it. Oh, no! The bird's flying away! Caillou was very sad that the bird flew away. You protected the bird and it got better. See? It's flying now all because of you. Caillou felt very proud. We could still visit the hospital at the bird sanctuary if you want. Yes! Lights out! The weather this evening will be cold and snowy. An arctic wind blowing from the north will lower the temperature. Vroom! Vroom, vroom, vroom! Caillou and Daddy didn't know it yet. But a winter storm was heading their way. Gilbert! Do you want to go outside, Gilbert? Why don't you let him out, Caillou? Okay. Come on, Gilbert. Daddy, look! Caillou was amazed by the snow. The wind was very strong and was blowing the snow around in circles, making it very hard to see outside. 
Caillou was sure that tomorrow would be a great day to build a snowman. Boy, that's some storm. The weatherman said there would be freezing rain tonight. I'd better turn up the heat. Why don't we go and see if Mom needs help setting the table? Okay, Daddy. Sweetie, are you getting hungry? Yes! Green light! Roll! Ah! <laughs> okay, now we're parking! Ooh, that's an awful storm! It looks like it's getting worse. Well, there's no use worrying about something we can't control. Hmm. Why don't you go get washed up for supper, Caillou? Caillou wondered why Mommy and Daddy were so worried about the storm. I think we forgot the magic words. Green, Green light. light. Boom, 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 boom. Caillou was feeling very alone in the dark, and he decided he would try and turn the lights back on himself. Caillou didn't understand how the lights could turn off all by themselves when he couldn't turn them back on. He was very afraid. Daddy! I'm coming, Caillou. Stay where you are. The lights aren't working, Daddy. The storm must have caused a power failure. What's that? That's when there's no electricity, so the lights don't work. Caillou didn't know that a storm could stop the lights from working. He'd never heard about that before. Let's go downstairs and get the flashlights. <laughs> Rosie, don't blow out the candles, sweetie. We need them to see. I'll go to the basement and get the flashlights and some more candles. I want to go with you. Caillou wanted to help his daddy find the flashlights. Be careful. It's pitch black down there. <laughs> I guess the basement isn't the best place to keep the flashlights, huh, Caillou? Be careful, Daddy. Caillou was trying to be brave, but he didn't like sitting alone in the dark. Daddy? It's okay, Caillou. Oops. Ah! Oh, no, my, my candle is out. I'm sure the flashlights were right here somewhere. Daddy! Caillou was frightened sitting in the dark stairwell all by himself. He couldn't see his daddy anymore. Found them! Ah! Daddy's appearance startled Caillou at first. But he was relieved to see daddy with the flashlights. I'm sorry, Caillou. I didn't mean to scare you. Here you go. You can have one, too. <laughs> Yikes! Don't do that. You're scaring me. <laughs> Gilbert, you silly cat. <laughs> Gilbert! <laughs> there we go. Caillou was happy that there were lights again. He figured that they could have supper now. When can we eat, Mommy? Hmm, that's a good question, Caillou. I'll go get some wood and build a fire. We can heat something up in the fireplace, just like when we're camping. Really? Caillou couldn't imagine how they could cook with the fireplace in the living room. He thought it would be fun to pretend the living room was a campground. I like camping in the living room, Daddy. Yes, it is fun, but I hope the electricity comes back on soon. The house is getting a little chilly. When will the lights come back on, Daddy? I'm not sure. It could take some time. Caillou didn't understand why it would take a long time. But right now, he didn't mind very much. I think it's time for dessert. What's for dessert? <laughs> 
What's your favorite dessert when we go camping, Caillou? Marshmallows! Yay! Is it done yet? I think it is. Now blow on it, because it's very hot. <laughs> Yum! <sighs> I think it's bedtime. I don't want to go to bed, Mommy. I think we should all sleep down here tonight. Yay! Huh? Caillou was startled awake by the sound of the television. But he really wanted to continue camping out in front of the fireplace. The power's back on. Can we still sleep here tonight, Daddy? Sure we can. Good night, Caillou. Caillou's checkup. I'm going to eat you. Roar! Roar! I'm going to eat you first. Leo, your mom will be here any minute to come and get you. Okay. Don't forget, Caillou, we're going to the dentist this afternoon. You're going to the dentist? Yeah. My brother went to the dentist, and he said it hurt him a lot. Caillou was suddenly worried that the dentist might hurt him, too. Leo, Caillou, come downstairs. It's time to go. I don't want to. After what Leo said, Caillou decided that he didn't want to go to the dentist after all. Caillou, where are you? Quiet, Gilbert. Caillou didn't want his mommy to find him and take him to the dentist. Are you playing hide and seek? Come out, come out, wherever you are. What are you doing under there? I don't want to go to the dentist. Are you afraid? Leo said the dentist is going to hurt me. The dentist is going to clean your teeth and make sure they're growing in properly. None of that is going to hurt, sweetie. I promise. Okay? The dentist will be with you shortly. Do you want to play with the boy until it's your turn? Caillou didn't feel like playing. He was still feeling very nervous about what was going to happen next. She's ready to see you now. I'll be right here waiting. Hi, Caillou. I'm Dr. Forrester. Are you ready for your checkup? I use this toothbrush on all my giant patients and dinosaurs. Haha, <laughs> you do have teeth. I knew it. Caillou thought the dentist was very funny. I'm going to clean your teeth now, Caillou. My toothbrush is a little noisy, but don't worry, it tickles. See? Can you open your mouth real wide, like a dinosaur about to roar? Yeah! <laughs> that tickles! Very good. Are you ready for a fluoride treatment now? What's that? It'll make your teeth very strong, and you can choose which flavor you want, cherry or bubblegum. Bubblegum! What's that? It's an x-ray. I'm going to take a picture of your teeth to make sure they're growing in properly. But you don't need to smile for this picture. You just stay still, okay? All done. You did great, Caillou. Mommy, look at my teeth. They look so clean. Caillou, this is for being so brave. Caillou was very proud that he wasn't afraid of the dentist anymore. Where are you off to in such a hurry? To brush my teeth! Calling Dr. Caillou! It was a special day for Caillou. So special that he got up as early as he could because he didn't want to miss a thing. Perfect! Caillou wanted to look extra nice today. He was proud that he was getting dressed all by himself. No, Gilbert. I have to get ready. 
Good morning, Caillou. Time to get up. Caillou, you're already up. And you dressed yourself. I'm going to work with Daddy. Oh, yes, that's right. It's the father and son day at Daddy's office, isn't it? Uh-huh. <gasps> hmm, sounds like Daddy's awake. Let's go get Rosie and have some breakfast. Look, Mommy, I'm making breakfast. I can see that, Caillou. Can I help? Breakfast always tastes better at the table. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> you sound funny, Daddy. My nose is a little stuffed up. Ah. That was fast. Where are you going? To get my knapsack. Caillou couldn't wait to be on his way to work with his daddy. Uh, okay, Caillou. You don't sound too good. Daddy. I'll be fine. Honey, maybe you shouldn't... Today's a big day. Hurry, Mommy. Here you go, Daddy. Let's go. Goodbye, Rosie. Achoo! Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. <coughs> hmm, feels like you've got a fever. I don't think you should go to work today. I don't think Daddy's well enough to go to work, Caillou. Sorry, Caillou. I think Mommy's right. But I promise, as soon as I'm better, we'll go to my office, okay? But we have to go. Caillou was very disappointed because he had been waiting all week for this day. Honey, you better go upstairs and lay down. Yeah, I think you're right. I know you're upset, but we all get sick sometimes. Daddy's sick. We'll just have to take really good care of Daddy to help him get better, okay? Okay. I'm going to check on Daddy. Why don't you think of things we could do to help him get better? Okay. You're sick, too. You have to go back to bed. It's a low fever, but it's a fever, no doubt about it. I'll be right back with some medicine. Well, what do we have here? Teddy's sick, too. Maybe you should take his temperature. He's got a fever. Teddy needs some medicine, too. Stay there, Daddy. Okay, Dr. Caillou. I won't move a muscle. Mommy, Teddy needs some medicine. Oh, Teddy's sick, too? Hmm. Something to drink would be a good idea. I'll get it. Here, Mommy. There. Now, let's take this up to our patients. Drink your juice, Daddy. It will make you better. Teddy, too. Yes, sir, Dr. Caillou. We will. If you drink all your juice, you'll get better. Caillou had forgotten all about going to Daddy's office. He was too busy taking care of Teddy and Daddy. He loved being their doctor. Do you want to be a doctor when you grow up, Caillou? Yes! I'm helping Daddy get better. Do you think there's anything else we could do to make him get well? Oh, I know! Caillou had remembered the one thing that made him feel better when he was sick. You're going to make Daddy all better. I remembered Grandma bought me this when I was sick. Can I give it to Daddy? That would be nice. And didn't Grandma also bring you a get well card? Yes. Can we make Daddy a card? Why don't we make a big get well card and see what happens? Okay. Okay. 
okay. <laughs> well, what's all this? It's a card to get better. Just what I needed. I did that part. Rosie and Mommy helped too. <laughs> did you help too, Gilbert? Are you all better now, Daddy? Almost, but not quite. Maybe tomorrow. The most important thing Daddy needs now is some rest. Can I read Daddy a bedtime story? I would love that. Why don't you go and choose one of your favorite books? Caillou wanted to choose the perfect story for Daddy. Farmer Brown! There once was a farmer named Farmer Brown. Farmer Brown had a big farm with lots of animals. Are you asleep yet, Daddy? Not yet, but I'm getting sleepy. Hurry, Mommy. Daddy's getting sleepy. Some of these animals went moo. Others went ba. Still, others went meow. With Dr. Caillou, Rosie, and Mommy to take care of him, it wasn't long at all before Daddy was well again and able to take Caillou to his office for the day. Do, do.